Hey, Jim Hoffman here for EMS Office Hours. This is your Monday Minutes. Uh, today, I want to do a little bit of anatomy. I like doing these once in a while, getting some anatomy, physiology out there. Uh, and I like to do it in nice, small chunks. And uh, today, I'm going to kind of focus on the trachea. So when we think about the trachea, really, it's really simple, right? It's a tube, pretty easy, not a lot to remember about it. And, but it is a key structure when it comes to the body, right? And then when it comes to what we're doing to a patient, things like intubation, like, uh, you know, giving cricoid pressure, burp, uh, all the th these things that I've talked about in previous Monday Minutes and how the trachea sort of ties into that, right? So I think while it's a very simple structure, it is key to what we're doing in the field and understanding it. So I want to just give a quick sort of uh, overview, refresher on this one uh, anatomical structure that I hope will maybe have some bells go off in your head uh, of the importance of it. And uh, you might even be able to refer to this sort of type of thing when you take an exam and they're asking you to you know, break down uh, upper and lower airways and all. Okay, so let's uh, get away from this PowerPoint and I wanna give you this uh, quick uh, 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 graphic sort of illustration to look at. Okay, let's go take a look at that. Okay, so I wanted to just uh, kind of show a cutaway here, uh, this animation that I found that I thought would be really cool to sort of illustrate uh, the trachea for us and give us an idea of what we're looking at and, and, and where it is in relation to the body. A lot of people start thinking the trachea is this whole deal right here, right? But it's really not. It's this little yellow area here. This pink area up here is the laryngopharynx, okay? And you have your hyoid, hyoid bone here, and then you've got your oropharynx here, okay? So the trachea starts down here. Now, air enters the lower airway from the upper airway through the trachea. Now, in essence, the trachea is a tube, right? It's about maybe 10, 12 centimeters long. It connects the larynx with the main stem bronchi in the lungs. So normally the, 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 the trachea is maintained in open position, okay? Um, it's got an incomplete sort of C-shaped uh, uh, cartil cartilage uh, ring that extend throughout the entire length of the trachea. Now, one thing to mention is the carina, which is something that's a key point within the trachea. This is where uh, where the trachea bifurcates into the right and the left main stem bronchi. Okay, so just keep that in mind that at that carina, at that point, is where the trachea divides from, to the right and left uh, main stem bronchi. Okay. Okay. One thing I want to do is just give a little cutaway here uh, to sort of show uh, the trachea in relation to uh, vocal cords when we talk about intubation. Uh, and, and managing a patient's airway. So let's take a look at that. So here, this is sort of a black and white picture from Gray's uh, anatomy um, that shows uh, the uh, uh, vocal cords, the molecular epiglottis, okay? And here is the trachea, okay? Where the air is entering. You know, we're looking to intubate the patient, right? We're going into the trachea, not you know, in order to get air into the patient. So we're going to be going through the vocal cords, right? So here's the trachea right here. Not the best picture, but I think just give you a little bit of an idea in relationship to what we're looking for and why we're intubating through the vocal cords and it going into the trachea. Um, just a couple other little cutaways they want to do here is give you a little bit of a transparent look uh, to the trachea here. All right, so you can kind of see here where it's going to the right and left main stem bronchi, okay? You can see, again, remember, it's not this entire piece. It's from here down, and it's going to the right and left bronchi, a little cutaway here. And I'll, one other cutaway I want to do, you can kind of isolate it for you away from the skeleton and all. They get a little picture here of what that looks like. 
Okay, let's go back to the main picture here, just to kind of end it with that. Um, I can rotate, rotate the body a little bit here for you, uh, give you a little bit of a side view as well. We can break that down as well a little bit, kind of give you a picture of that. Just give you a little bit of an idea of what we're looking at when it comes to the trachea. And remember, like I said, it's not all this here. This is your laryngopharynx and your oropharynx, your hyoid, hyoid bone. Trachea is starting down here, okay? Now, the lungs are in the way, so you can't see the right and left brains. Right in the middle here, you can see where the... the bronchi is is, is uh, breaking off that's why I broke I kind of cut away a little bit so you can see it there and if we do the transparency get rid of the lungs and you can see it the sort of the side view there so it comes to you know looking at this and thinking about this and for our treatment and all it's pretty straightforward right it's not a lot to it but it is a very key structure when it comes to the patient's airway and how we're intubating them and how we're treating them. So I hope that this will, uh, you know, sort of zero in that one little section of anatomy for you uh, and maybe give you uh, some a little bit of insight or even just a quick refresh, I guess, on this anatomical structure. Okay, um, let's go back and, uh, and, and end this session. Okay, so that's really it for this uh, Monday Minutes, guys. I hope you can use these Monday Minutes. Uh, I hope to get some more of these uh, sort of, you know, uh, graphic illustrations, uh, interactive sort of inter illustrations for you to really hammer home some of these key structures. So I'm going to be working on that uh, more in the future, along with some, uh, some new uh, sort of Monday Minute formatting that I'm going to be working on as well. So we'll see you uh, next week on that. And I hope, again, you can use these Monday Minutes. Uh, guys, if you really enjoy this type of stuff, you like building your knowledge base, you enjoy uh, learning everything there is to know about EMS, uh, mastering content and being successful when it comes to taking exams and uh, doing your clinical assessments on patients and what you're going to do or not do for a patient, uh, I encourage you to go check out Turbo Medic On Demand. I'm sure you've heard me talk about this before. This is really a uh, member-only website. It's got exclusive benefits uh, just for premium members there. Uh, go check this out, guys. Uh, it's like 60 cents a day. Very cheap, very affordable, and it gives you such a wealth of information. Hours of video and audio and lots of downloads and practice exams, the whole nine yards. So go check that out, guys. Just click either the graphic here or the little click here to access a link below the video here and go check out Curve Medic On Demand. And hopefully I'll see you on the inside there and you'll see what I'm talking about when it comes to all of the great member benefits there. So guys, you have some minutes of your own. Of course, I encourage you to send them over to me. Uh, my address, email address is contact at emsofficehours.com. Uh, be sure to visit emsofficehours.com for some previous Monday Minutes as well. Uh, check the archives there for the podcast and other downloads and other videos and audios that are posted there uh, on a daily, weekly basis. So go check that out, guys, and we will see you next week. And as always, this is Jim Hoffman for EMS Office Hours and the Monday Minutes. Stay safe. Stay safe.